two items, centuries old. Both symbols of power and protection. What binds them together? Our journey starts with America's early days. Firearms, a beacon of hope, a tool ensuring freedom. The Founding Fathers embedded a promise, the Second Amendment. They knew liberty required protection. Silver, meanwhile, has echoed through the annals of history. Not just a shiny ornament, silver is woven into our modern world, from electronics to medicine. Remember Weimar Germany? Paper money became wallpaper, but silver? A beacon of stability. Now, let's talk self-reliance. Economic tsunamis, like the 2008 financial crisis, remind us of the importance of safe havens. As we embrace digital banking, we're also vulnerable. Hacks, frauds, cyber thefts. Silver offers tangibility in an intangible world. Detractors may argue about space. Yet, aren't the most invaluable things worth the room? Silver doesn't give interest, they say. True. But in turbulent times, preservation often trumps growth. Old-fashioned? Maybe. But like the age-old wisdom of our grandparents, silver stands timeless. What's the silver spot today? Let's check in real time. Share your thoughts in the comments. It's an inheritance for my kids. After studying the 2008 crash, I diversified into silver. For me, it's not just investment, it's history in my hands. Your journey, your reasons. In life, liberty, future, and fortune, the tales of the Second Amendment and silver intertwine. They're stories of freedom, security, and heritage. Thanks for diving deep with us today. Remember to like, share, and dive into the discussion below. Together, we discover.